Why do we want immigration numbers to come down? I mean, it strikes me, your, your, your own personal remarkable story, your parents, you know, fleeing Idi Amin, coming here to the United Kingdom and just a couple of, a few de short decades later, here you are as, as Home Secretary. It strikes me that the Priti Patel story makes a rather good case for continued immigration, uh, perhaps even at the levels that we are now. We know that immigrants are net contributors to the economy. Well, we know also that people that come to our country with the right skills obviously contribute in many ways. This isn't about comparing what our plans and intentions are right now with the points-based system with previous histories on immigration. The fact of the matter is we're leaving the European Union, which means free movement will end. And that also means we will be able to control the level of unskilled migration that has come to the United Kingdom and, quite frankly, that has come to the United Kingdom in many ways that, yes, may have contributed and has contributed to the economic growth of our nation, but also now puts a spotlight on the type of skills that we need to grow our labour market, to be a successful economy going forward, to continue on our economic growth, but also to make sure, yes, we have the right skills, but that British businesses as well grow and invest in the British public too. They have been far too reliant on low skills and, quite frankly, cheap labour from the EU. And we want to end that. We think it's about time that businesses started to invest in people across the whole of the United Kingdom, that they join with us on our agenda to level up the skills, the infrastructure, the economic growth across all our regions, promote growth across the whole of the United Kingdom. And that is one of the key opportunities that we have when we leave mm -hmm. the EU through the immigration system, the points-based system that we will be bringing. Yes, supporting the brightest and the best, but also encouraging British industry to do more, to invest Indeed. in capital, in people, in human capital, and the skills that our country and our economy needs in the long run.